standing by uh, for any COVID questions later on, but let's now go. Obviously, we um, ask for and hope for the, the patience and understanding uh, of all the athletes in, in, involved uh, here, but it is a legal case. I am bound uh, by that legal case as you are, uh, and I'm unable to say anything more. On the place, because we were trying to deal with the air pollution problem start. At the moment, it's purely a issue between um, uh, between them and FIS. If FIS want to look into it further, then they obviously will do. Um, we've reiterated uh, our call to the NOC and all IFs to make sure that uh, Belarusian athletes can compete safely without any discrimination. To the broadcasters, Mr. Exarchos, you said... But I guess someone who's tested positive before the games, it depends on a whole range of things. It's very difficult to talk in the abstract about abstract cases but it depends on a whole range of circumstances, but I guess if, if, if that was uncovered, that would probably be very unlikely. What are those sports that may be particularly attractive to the audience here? Is it concerning to the IOC that the, these sort of issues, three or four days of the games, already take precedent? Mm, I think generally speaking, and even if you look at the coverage in newspapers, it's generally about the sport, which is what people want to hear about. We don't want to hear about the other stuff, but it, it, it arises, it's life, and so it has to be dealt with, has to be dealt with properly, has to be dealt with in a proper, a transparent way, uh, a legal way, um, and we will do with it and we will deal with it as quickly as possible but I think it doesn't uh, it shouldn't and it doesn't take away from the magic of the games which I think uh, the vast majority of people when I speak to my mother last night they are loving the games people are loving watching the sport and that's what these games are about it's about sport so 